Hello, welcome back to the channel. And would you take a look at these delicious burgers? Oh, believe it or not, these are frozen beef burgers from the supermarket, cooked in our Ninja Foodie Max air fryer. I've got buns, lettuce, and slices of Dutch cheese going on here. So if you want to know what is the cooking time and temperature for frozen quarter pounder burgers in an air fryer, the place to be is right here in this video. <laughs> and of course, this footage is a gift from future me. So I don't know how this is going to work out. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this in the air fryer. So I'm qu quite excited about this. I've got some frozen quarter pound of burgers. They're from Aldi, which is uh, not one of the most expensive supermarkets here in the UK. But I got the, uh, the specially selected Aberdeen Angus quarter pounders. I'm hoping that what I cook in the air fryer will end up looking like this. <laughs> now, do you remember the catchphrase? Bung it in the air fryer. So I'll just put these, I'll put these frozen burgers into the basket. It's got a nice shot of them there. This is a tip, this is a pro tip, because I did this with not frozen burgers. If you go back into the basket, I found that if you have the burger over here on this middle bit of the tray, that bit won't cook it. <laughs> and now, of course, it's time to bung it in the air fryer. <laughs> Thanks. If you've not used a Ninja air fryer before, we'll turn it on and we're gonna choose air fry. And we are going to dial up 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade or Celsius. And I'm gonna put on 10 minutes. Now I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if it is 10 minutes. So I'll put on screen now what the final time is, but this is the time that I'm gonna try just to see how they work out. Or oh, I'm gonna move them again. Because when you, when you push the tray in, it does throw the food around in the basket. So I've made sure they're not in the middle. And then we just hit the start stop button. Let's bung it in the air fryer. <laughs> Let's stop. Now, while the burgers are cooking in the air fryer, you can probably hear in the background the whirring. I'm gonna show you the buns that I got. I've got the special, the special buns. I've got some brioche burger buns. And I think, wow, is this gonna to be too much to put two burgers in one bat? You will you'll see from the footage earlier what I ended up with. I've got some little gem lettuce. I'm gonna put some greenery into this burger. It's purely for decoration rather than health reasons. But I'm using this little gem lettuce, again, from the supermarket. And I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna peel off a few leaves, I think. But I've managed to dig out our salad spinner to actually wash the leaves. I think I could probably do this with a handful under the tap but let's put them into the salad spinner anyway. Oh, by the way, I'll put a link to this salad spinner down in the description below. And it's really great because it's got this removable basket. Just give it a quick rinse. And then when I put it back into the spinner, lock up the lid, I can then give it a spin to shake off all the water, make it nice and uh, crispy and zingy. It's really difficult doing this with one hand while you're, you're holding the camera. So it probably is easier doing it this way if you're filming it yourself. And this is where my burger making capabilities differ from uh, say my beautiful wife. But I like to shred the greenery as thin as possible. So you can sprinkle it on and I don't know, do a bootleg McDonald's impression. The other thing I'm using is this Dutch Gouda slices. Is it Gouda or Gouda? Uh, but I love the flavor of the Gouda or the Gouda. And I'll probably go for two slices. They're a bit huge. So what I'll probably do is fold them in half, get them ready, and then we'll sit them onto the burger. I'm gonna see if I can try and melt them onto the burger using the air fryer. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna go crazy and I don't want to burn the bun. So I'll get those ready there. Finally, because I'm going absolutely veg crazy, <laughs> I'm gonna cut this tomato up. I always forget, do you go lengthways or, I oh, know this is the right way, isn't it? And you're probably in a part of the world where you call it tomato. So there's my tomato, my two slices of tomato. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is a completely unpronounceable dish, isn't it? With the tomato, tomato and gouda gouda. I completely forgot to take a look at how the burgers are doing. So we're nine minutes in. Whoa, okay, they're looking good. That's good. I'm still seeing red juices run out. Let's get the YKF Jean silicone tongs and we'll just flip them over. Yeah, this is coming along nicely. I think it might end up being 12 minutes. Let's get them out and, oh, okay. So they're, they're, looking, they're looking good, but you can see the juices are running pink. Probably flip them over again. I think I'm gonna put these on, on air fry. 350 degrees Fahrenheit again, and we'll go for, should we go for three minutes? But I'll check during the three minutes. Let's bung it in the air fryer. While they're finishing off, I'm gonna put the brioche bun, the bap, into the second basket, because it is a dual zone air fryer. And, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, how about, I'll uh, dial up number two, and I'll put it on air fry and I'll, I'll just put them on for a minute. I think they only need about 30 seconds, but we'll just do a minute and then I'll hit start. So, <laughs> time of moment of truth. These are looking absolutely delicious. I think we're good to go. I'll take them over to the, the prepping area. Oh, let's check the buns, I forgot the buns. So the buns, yeah, the bun is looking just right. It feels nice and warm. Now, I think I'm going to double stack these. Oh, look, it touched the heating element. And first to go on are the cheese slices. So I'll do one slice, get the silicone tongs, sit one on top of the slice of cheese. And then I think I'll go for another slice of cheese. And then I'd be terrible with McDonald's. And I'll put another burger on top. Now I want the cheese to melt, so I'm gonna put the cheese on the burger. And then, then we'll go for the greenery, right? So I'll put that on the bun, because it might hold it better. <laughs> and I'm doing this, I've got to say, I'm doing this with one hand while I'm holding the camera. I should, should I put the camera down? That's better, I can use both hands now. And I'm not using any old barbecue sauce, no. I'm going for the classic barbecue sauce. <laughs> I think this one's from Lidl, another budget supermarket in the UK. I'm gonna drizzle this onto the lettuce, uh, the tomato on both sides there. So you could serve it like that, I guess, but you, I've, got to, I've got to fold it, haven't I? This could go horribly wrong. I don't think I've got enough room in the picture to hold it. Burger stack, oh my goodness. <laughs> That is looking pretty good. Now, I, sh I probably shouldn't do this, but I really want to melt the cheese. So what I might do is try and get this stack into, this could go horribly wrong. Oh my God, everything's fallen off. <laughs> I've wrecked it. <laughs> These will be my beauty shots for the beginning. So I'll take the tomato out. This is gonna go really wrong because it's gonna make the, the lettuce warm, isn't it? But anyway, let's put it in. Let's see, let's see if I can melt the cheese. Basket number two. I don't know, what should we go for? No, let's go for 400 degrees or 200 degrees Celsius and we'll go for one minute. Oh boy, this could ruin the burger. But I, I really want the cheese to melt. Here we go. Oh, I could have completely ruined my two quarter pounders, my half pounder my beautiful half pounder. Uh, and I really wanted it to look good for the beginning of the video as well. So this might, this might not be a, <laughs> a brilliant idea. Half pounder, double quarter pounder. Oh look, that's not too bad. Yeah, the cheese is melted. Okay, that's, that's better. Yeah, and look, it hasn't ruined the, the lettuce. So I'll try and lift it out really care, really carefully. <laughs> Whoa, no, oh no, that's looking great. Look at that. It's looking a bit bedraggled, isn't it? So let's put some, I don't know, some greenery on the side. <laughs> tomato, the tomato's falling out. But I don't know a way of melting the cheese onto the burgers without having the greenery and the sauce on it. So if you've got any tips for how I could have melted the cheese better without making a huge mess, 
uh, let me know in the comments below. But I mean, look, this, this looks edible. And I do like that singeing, that slight singeing of the bun on the edge there where it's touched the heating element of the Ninja Foodie Max Dual Zone Air Fryer. <laughs> it's just a little bit of extra flavor. I think the, uh, the Gouda has melted really nicely and uh, I'm glad I, I, I did bother with the tomatoes in the end. I don't usually do this, I'm only doing it to show off. But the hardest thing with cooking a burger in a air fryer is can I eat it without getting all the sauce and everything down my white shirt? Oh, it's my son, hello. Look what I got. <laughs> I might need to blur this out. Oh my word, oh, magnificent. I am calling this, sorry. I am calling this as dad delivers success. <laughs> Forget five guys, eight guys. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up or the subscribe button. It really helps me keep this channel going. And on screen now are all my other Ninja Foodie Max air fryer snacks. <laughs>